அன்றி உலகம் அளந்தாய் அடிபோற்றி சென்றங்கு தென்னிலங்கை செற்றாய் திரள் போற்றி பொன்ற சகட முதைத்தாய் புகழ் போற்றி கன்று குனிலா வெறிந்தாய் கழல் போற்றி குன்று குடையா விடுத்தாய் குணம் போற்றி வென்று பகை கெடுக்கும் நின் கையில் வேல் போற்றி என்றென்றும் சேவகமே ஏற்றி பறைகொள்வான் இன்றியா மந்தோ நிறங்கேலோர் எம்பாவாய் திஸ் இஸ் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் பாசுரம் ஃபார் மோர் தென் ஒன் ரீசன் த மேஜர் ரீசன் பீங் she very well followed the footsteps of her father vishnu chitta or periyalvar amongst the prabandhams of alvars periyalvar or vishnu chitta gave us one prabandham called as periyalvar tirumuli in periyalvar tirumuli there are various sets of pasurams called as tirumulis itself and they have been put together as tirumulis and a set of 10 tirumulis together will be the first centum it's called the mudal pattam tirumuli so in periyalvar tirumuli the first tirumuli happens to be tirupallandu which is a very very important portion that is to be recited in temples and in amongst shri vaishnavas and all the devotees of the lord who wish to serve the lord and his devotees so in tirupallandu alvar says that o oh lord you must live for years together very happily with your wife with your ayudhams in your nitya vibhuti the relationship between you and me should never be demolished or should never rot it should grow further and further so he blesses the lord it is called tirupallandu may you live long following the footsteps of the father andal also deploys a similar sentiment in this pasuram hence this pasuram is called as திருப்பாவையில் திருப்பல்லாண்டு இட் இஸ் த திருப்பல்லாண்டு பாசுரம் லைக் த திருப்பல்லாண்டு பாசுரம் வித் இன் த திருப்பாவை சோ இன்ஸ்டெட் ஆஃப் சேங் பல்லாண்டு 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 ஃபார் மெனி மெனி ஹண்ட்ரட்ஸ் அண்ட் தௌசண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இயர்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு லிவ் இன்ஸ்டெட் ஆஃப் சேங் தட் ஷி சேஸ் போற்றி 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 சோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ லைக் விக்ட்ரி ஜிதந்தே ஸ்தோத்திரம் ஜிதந்தே புண்டரி காட்ச சேஸ் ஸ்தோத்திரம் ரைட் சோ ஷி அட்ரெஸ் மெனி போற்றிஸ் இயர் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அன்று இவ்வுலகம் அளந்தாய் அடிபோற்றி she talks about the vamana trivikrama avataram combo so in the third pasuram ongi ulagalanda uttaman perpaadi she talks about that avataram in the 17th ambaram oodaruthu ongi ulagalanda umbar koma she talks about this pasuram again in the 24th andre ivulagam alandai adi potri shendrangu tennilangai setrai tiral potri then she continues like how you measured the worlds by coming as vamana and later as trivikrama shendrangu tennilangai shetrai tiral potri not just because your wife sita your beloved wife sita was kidnapped but realizing that this man was causing a lot of discontent amongst women hurting and harming and disrespecting women not letting the astronomical bodies perform their regular mundane ordained work you went to his place you built the setu you took the vanara sainyam went over to lanka fought all the demons won over ravana made vibhishana the king thereby establishing your victory shendrang tennilangai setrai tiral potri it is your absolute talent your valor your veera rasam that comes into picture pondra sagada udaitai pugal potri so then he says pondra sagada udaitai pugal potri in krishna avataram when yashoda had to take care of you but she had her own work to take care so she left you in a little cradle nearby a broken cart because it was believed that a broken cart which is of no use is that which will help drive away ghosts but you won't imagine krishna it was in this shakatam that an asura called utkacha possessed anupravishya and then he wanted to attack to you and as a little child's play you pushed him with a tender push with your tender feet and he flew way above and was killed so ponna chagada mudaitai pugal potri kandru kunila verindai kalal potri see i will have to sing praises for that foot because when one asura got into the tree in the form of a tree called as kapitha asura and another demon at the same point in time came in, uh, came running as a calf you wanted to establish your supremacy over these two people so you used the calf 
took it by its legs, swirled it around and thrashed it on the tree. So in one go, both Vatsasura and Kapithasura were killed. So Andal tells, Kandra Kunila Verindai Kalal Potri. Next, to show that you are the Rakshaka, the protector of the inhabitants of the village, to the cubs and the calves, while Indra asked all the clouds to shower and make cloud burst, the entire place was flooded. It is then when you took all of them near Govardhana Parvata, marked a boundary along the mountain, lifted the mountain upside down, Kundru Kudaya Veduttai Gunam Potri. What is that Gunam? Saushilyam. Konasvin Sampratam Loke Gunavan Kaschaviryavan tells Valmiki Maharshi at the Upodghatam, the commencement of Ramayana. What is Gunam? Saushilyam. The ability of the Lord, though being in a very high position, to come down, to reach down to our level and mingle with us not even giving us the thought that such a great person is mingling with us. He will move with us as if he is one amongst us. That is Saushilyam. That is Gunam. So, Kundru Kudaya Vedutta, you did not protect just your mother and father in that avataram. You thought the entire race is that of yours. Kundru Kudaya Vedutta Gunam Potri. Later in Krishna avataram, when your grandson Aniruddha was languishing in the prison of Banasura, because he was in love with his daughter called Usha, you marched with your army to the Pura of Banasura and fought with him. So much so that to protect Banasura, Lord Shiva, his sons Kartikeya or Muruga and Ganapati had come. But at the end of the war, they realized that they couldn't fight their uncle. They knew that justice was Nyayam, Dharma was on the side of their uncle because Shastram tells that if you are in love with the girl as per the Shastram and as per the blessings of your elders, falling in love and getting married is not wrong as per Dharma Shastram because we have had. But of course it is better to look and take consensus amongst your family members. Here Krishna would never have denied consensus because most of his relationships have been very organic and he has fallen in love with women. So his marriage with Satyabhama or his marriage in fact with Rukmani is a beautiful example of how pristine that love can get. So that very moment Krishna fought and as a mark of the victory he took the veil, the uh, spear that uh, Kartikeya held. Vendra pagai kadukkum nin kaiyil veil potri. Of course many Acharyas opine in the Swapadeshartham that it indicates the veil, the, the weapon that came in the hands of the great poet called Parakala or Tirumangayalva from the hands of a great Shiva Bhakta called as Jnana Sambandha Murti. So here we have Vendra pagai kadukkum nin kaiyil veil potri. Endrendrum sevagame yetri parai kolvan. Here we are to serve you. Then he concludes, Indriyam Vando Irangelo Rembavai. Today we have come. Today we have come seeking your grace. Please bless us. Is the essence of the 24th Pasura.